Sheriff, uh, you've been here on the scene. Uh, can you give us a little update in terms of what you've uh, been able to witness here? Sirens started going off, and we immediately responded. Um, you know, anytime we've got a problem with city limits in Jefferson County, it's all of our problem. And just as a clear example of us working together, collaborative efforts to make sure people are safe and secure, those who have been displaced, trying to provide you know local temporary shelter for them. And uh, uh, Alderman Travis has done a great job at communicating with the convention center to open that up. We've uh, got buses on the way to transport them to that local location. We've got our mobile command unit that's going to be on site to uh, provide some scene security once we clear this out. So assist the city of Pine Bluff and Chief Sergeant with that effort. So just a just example, of, you know, when things happen like just traumatic events, we can come together and work as a community. Thank you very much, Chair. Absolutely. Hey, uh, we were here with the chief. Uh, chief, any fatalities in this situation? No, uh, we had a couple of people that were trapped. Uh, we got both of them out, uh, but no one, uh, no fatalities uh, in this situation. And so, and the place will be evacuated. I understand that uh, Energy Center Point, they were checking about uh, utilities and so forth. Is that correct? Yes, uh, Energy Center Point have come to the area, turned the power off to the uh, the power lines, to, to the gas in, in this area. What we're doing right now, uh, the transit is um, taking uh, displaced citizens over to the convention center and if it gets too full over there then we're going to take them over to first ward school thank you very much chief yes, thank sir. you very much all right I know where you're going to be to be housed at the, at the convention center they're going to house us over at the convention center they say okay uh how, what was your reaction when you heard that thing hit well i heard a russian wind and i looked out the front window and i didn't see anything and then the other member, uh, people on the same side in the building I live in came out. We didn't know what was going on. The man across the street, he got a view down the drive through and he saw the buildings had collapsed. And so that's how we all went around and saw that. So I guess it was a, a, a real shocker and a surprise to you, is that right? Yes, it is. Well, I thank the Lord. It didn't hurt me. My apartment is intact. I just don't have any uh, electricity. All right. They what, want us all to evacuate. Uh, what's your full name, if you don't mind? The Lord's Collins. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, we have had a phenomenal response by all of our city departments, Whitehall, uh, the county, stepping up to help. We have all of the people that were trapped out, the uh, no fatalities, all the injured persons are on their way to the hospital. We have the, we've got the convention center opened up. We have our transit buses on the way here to help with the people that are going to be displaced. We're figuring around a couple of hundred people are going to need temporary housing. We have the Red Cross involved. We have the Salvation Army. And, you know, this is, when you look around and you see this, this is a real palm bluff. We come together, we get things done, and we take care of our people. And I praise God that everyone is safe and we're okay. Thank you very much, Thank Alvin. You.